reality yeah. TV. <laughs> Where's my script at, please? Right oh, there it is. Found it. All right, the Lord challenge. I'm, I'm gonna cheers and I'm probably not gonna do it. I'm... You're gonna do it. I'll do it first. And Just then do it together. My face, well, and then we you should do it. do it together, but okay. I'm afraid I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna like uh, freeze out. out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I'm Michelle. I work here at Twin Cade. I am the doer of many duties. Uh, duty. <laughs> uh, prankster, general goofball, uh, also the boss around here. Okay, wait, cheers. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that's so fucking gross. It wasn't that bad. Really. Are you serious? Not that bad. I got it. I'm Philip, and I am the owner of Twincade, and uh, I'm the official uh, arcade curator, uh, collector, bringer over. Uh, apparently, I'm the cigarette bummer and the the beer tester. Please excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. Are you just gonna go right in? <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah, I had to. That was fun. My name is Eric, and should be noted that that's Eric with a K, not a C, because I spell my name the correct way, not the dumb way. Oh. Fat shame this man. <laughs> oh God. Somebody quick, fat shame me. Are we doing the? <laughs> yes, the reality show is starting now. Oh. <laughs> Eric, no. I'm gonna pee my pants. I seriously have to pee oh something. <laughs> Karaoke, karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> rip it off, rip it off. Yeah, rip, 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 is a brewery in Holland, Michigan, and they are going to premiere one of their beers here at Twincade. It's a double IPA, it's called Hoptronics, and myself and our game tech Eric have been working nonstop creating them an official arcade cabinet for Hoptronics. It's sort of a sort of a um, Space Invaders clone. Um, actually don't want to bring this on because oh. well it's green so all the green's going to be like <laughs> crazy which will then, which will actually probably be a bit entertaining but yeah the programming is fairly done it's been a pain in the ass and i haven't been able to sleep much because it keeps me up at night thinking about what to do to fix it and uh eric's been creating the cabinet it's looking really good and we will show you some of that as we progress so, let me tell you about Lance the server. The day Lance was hired in trying to fit him for a t-shirt, the only one that seemed to work for his small form, as he refers to his own body, was a lady's small. Um, so, it's kind of like a very tight-fitting cap sleeve, ladies, clearly ladies shirt, um, that he just rocks like a champ, and whenever he asks for new shirts it's always ladies small so that's why he garnered the, the nickname ladies smalls a fun play on bitty smalls the rapper of course <laughs> and look how little he looks next to this big guy nice lady small coming at you that's what we call them. Ladies small. Wait, wait, what? It was, I came up, I came up with ladies smalls. Yeah. Ladies smalls. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them. Maybe. There it is. Awesome. Fire. Throw that on there for a second. <sighs> Perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. And we awesome. snuck our logo <laughs> in there. Cool. I'm gonna throw this on. All right, so my name's Eric with a C, not a K. 
fuck Eric with a K. I'm a flying saucer, that's my job title, I think. Uh, that's what I do. I'm the game tech, resident electronics nerd, bar back, sometimes manager, um, slinger of drinks, bouncer of doors. I'm a goddamn space pirate, so you guys all better fucking watch out. Space pirate. Uh, so maybe we could talk behind the area so the water's not drip down. Um, just so you guys know, I'm an amazing cocker. Like, like, I'm still great with the cock. So if you were a superhero, you'd be like the incredible cult. Alright, fine. He said their nitro line hasn't been hooked up in two months. Oh, well then they... These are frozen in the middle. Look but, how gross this looks though. What is that? That's the, that's the stuff that I uh, clear the line with. But it still looks kind of gross. It's barley wine, yo. Oh boy, so yesterday we arrive here, Patricia and I, and we come and find that there's no nitrogen. There's no nitrogen gas. The nitrogen gas is what uh, pushes all of our beer through the taps. Um, we have a type system where if you run out of nitrogen, then you can't serve beer at all. So all 20 of our taps would be down, not just the nitro lines, every single one of them, we would be completely out of commission. So we arrive here and there's zero nitrogen. It's it's gone. There's like an hour left of it. And it's a uh, Friday night at seven o'clock and there's nowhere to buy it. So we're, we're totally screwed. You can't have a keg rater for nitro. We're gonna have to call Bear Geeks. We had a keg rater for nitro and sip for a nitro cold brew. But it, I mean, it was it was kegs of cold brew rather than. There's beer. that coffee shop in Valpo that, what I forgot what they're called. They do all nitro. Oh yeah. Fluid. Fluid. Yeah. Yeah, but it's 8 p.m. on a Friday night. Right. Isn't there? Although did you the say there's owners, a nitro coffee shop. The, and, all coffee shops have nitro if they have nitro. Does cold Grindhouse brew. do nitro? Do we even want to talk so. to Grindhouse? Yes. Yeah, they might. I don't We're, know if they do we, nitro. We call they don't. Do, they don't. Call Sip. They're open. Can you call SIP? No, uh, no that'd be bad. That's no, the worst. They hate you. you they don't, do, they know, do they know you work here? Yeah, I told you that. And you, told me you got fired? Yeah. <laughs> this was after I got hired here, by the way. They, <laughs> no, I got fired because I was being an a hole to oh, you did tell me that. the other employees because they were sitting around playing Pokemon Go, and I'm like, man, why am I doing all the work back here? So this was an extreme emergency. So we went out and we we went and made calls to every bar and brewery around. We called Scoreboard. We called uh, Three Floyds, we called Wild Rose, Pacro, and unfortunately nobody had an extra nitrogen tank to lend us. Um, eventually, after tons of calls, uh, we even called tire shops. We were, we were trying to call a cof coffee places that maybe serve nitro coffee. Um, but we finally got a hold of Byway Brewing. They're right here in town. Or actually, they're in Hammond, Indiana. Uh, Byway Brewing uh, hooked us up and they had an extra tank that they let us borrow and saved our asses. Hi there, this is Michelle. I'm the general manager over at Twin Cave, uh, the Barcade in Griffith. How's it going? I think she's on the by right now. What? Well, <laughs> that would be awesome. We're kind of in a desperate situation. Are you serious? No. Oh my god. Uh, the, actually, we were talking about that at our last management meeting. Anyways. So this would actually put that into forward motion. We've been in there more than once, actually eating and stuff. Oh yeah. Is that Bronco's kid? We can come pick it up. Wait, wait, wait. You are amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. So this is a big fuck up from our management team, honestly. I I've even told Michelle months ago that we need to inventory the gas. And this is something that Dylan really should have been having his eye on. I mean, he's the bar manager, and this is the bottleneck to uh, serving beer. W without the proper gas, we can't serve beer. And it just totally ran out, and nobody has checked it in probably a month to even see that it's going low. So it's a super big fuck up. And uh, I mean, it all worked out in the end, but you know. So some things about me. I am the kitchen manager and the head cook, I guess you would say. Um, I also am the karaoke DJ on Thursdays, um, I guess because I have a better personality than the other Eric, and he doesn't know how to karaoke like I do, because I rock that shit. So last night, Eric got a, a lot of work done on the Hoptronics cabinet. Um, inside the cabinet, he tidied up all the cables, 
strap down the computer, strap down the speakers. Um, it's now Monday. We have to have the game ready by Thursday. And at this point, we're looking really good. We have a little bit of control issues, but uh, I think we'll be able to get those worked out. Um, I also took the marquee to a print shop. They're gonna have that back to us Wednesday. So I think we're looking good for our game release on Thursday. So this past Monday, we had a team building event that we all went to. Um, our bartender, Dave, uh, competed in a Prohibition era cocktail competition at one of my favorite spots around here, Doc Smokehouse. <laughs> um, it was a really awesome, fun event. David did so amazing. He showed up in little bow tie and suspenders with his little haircut and his beard. Such a ladies' man. Are you starting already? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We'll give you guys a minute. Um, his cocktail was called the Old 29. It was a an homage and a reference to the year 1929 when the stock market crashed and there was a Valentine's massacre as well. So it was a smoked cocktail he did to represent the clearing of the gun smoke and he told this whole nice backstory uh, for the judges which were sort of the the creme de la creme of the local industry people. So there was a lot of industry folks, a lot of heavy hitters in the, the bartending nightlife of Northwest Indiana. So it was really cool to watch them all compete, uh, particularly obviously our very own David, who was representing Twin Cade and did an awesome job. Uh, so it was a really fun night. We had a little bit too much fun. I was drinking quite a bit of whiskey myself. Hashtag sorry for partying. You think, you guys, do you want the, you want all the, I think that'd be cool to have all you guys sign. Yeah, everybody sign. And the person moving on to our uh, final and Indianapolis next week will be Kathy Bryan from Woo! Northern Grand Prix Indianapolis. Get a picture of you at the end of this to oh Kathy. God, I'm serious. I'm serious. So, Kathy, congratulations. You also got, yeah. It was close, guys. Trust me. Uh, how's it feel to be the winner? Yeah, I lost. <laughs> I he did great, though. E for so, effort. Look, I get to drink whiskey. Yeah. 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 We all win because there's free booze yeah. and free yeah. food. Yeah. There's literally yeah. rips. Winning. So uh, these are the losers winning. <laughs> Wait, we was there an extra one there? For but yeah, that is free. Nobody's a loser to me. Oh, that one's mine. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow is the Hoptronics event where we'll be rolling out the Hoptronics cabinet that we built for New Holland. Today, I went and I picked up the marquee, which will finish out the cabinet. Last night, Eric completed some work. He had a reset button inside the coin door that will reset the uh, high score, tighten up some more cabling, and tighten up some controls. So we are ready to roll for our event tomorrow.
All right, so tonight was the New Holland event. There was an amazing turnout and everything seemed to go swimmingly. It was nice to see all of our hard work uh, pay off as we watch people enjoy the game. Everybody sen generally seemed to enjoy it. It was awesome to collab with New Holland Brewery on a game that we hope people will be able to enjoy for a long, long time towel snapping you know actually i'm really more mad that eric broke my air duster granted i shot him in the butt with it but then he shot me back and that gets cold and he left a air duster jism stain thank you hey, for dickhead. thank you for my air duster jizz so i just got a text from my sister saying that you were texting my mom <laughs> oh yeah yeah yep yep your Why mom are you sending her dick pics well <laughs> they're the best kind of pics Dude, you realize my mom's got fucking. Let me, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want some of these? Yeah, yeah, I want some. <laughs> yeah, there. Take that, you fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck you, man. Dude, oh, no, not anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You broke it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, Twincade is a crazy awesome place, not only to come hang out at, but to work at. Uh, we work hard, we play hard, we love hard, we are a family, we're a close-knit unit. Um, if you were to ask me how to describe the employees at Twincade, I would probably say the, the Christmas movie where it's like the land of misfit toys. Twincade is the land of misfit toys, and we're all the misfit toys. Uh, <laughs> we have a super fun time. Uh, it's a it's pretty intense place to work. Uh, weekends around here are just like it's like a train rolling through of party time. Excellent. Uh, it's it's crazy. So you know, if it wasn't for each other, you know, we support each other. We are a true unit that works together. Um, if it wasn't for these guys, you know, it, they, it wouldn't be so easy because Twincade is three businesses in one. It's obviously, it's an arcade, it's a bar, it's a restaurant. So, you know, whereas another general, general manager, they, you know, are a manager of a restaurant or a bar. Here, there is so much that goes into opening those doors every day and keeping it running, keeping the beer flowing, keeping new innovative cocktails coming, keeping the food fun, fresh, keeping the games maintained, always being on the lookout for new stuff for customers to play, taking feedback. So it is an intense job, but it is an awesome job as well. Alright, 